Very quick video. Guess where I am? Brent Knoll, Crutch Peak. Steep home, bring down. Can't see uh, Glastonbury, but we will later. I've got over to uh, to Draycott, and I'll be doing Draycott Slights. I'm going up the big hill at the moment. I'm just talking to these lovely woolly sheep. They're coming up to the fence to say hi. Hello, hello, lovely little sheepies. Got your lovely fur coats on. And you're beautiful, darling. Anyway, I've just done the worst part of the walk, which is back there. The first part of the walk up from the, the, the village is very, very steep to start with. Not long, it's not a long stretch. But I just got off the bus about 10 minutes ago and I've got a quarter of the way, no, not even a quarter, up the hill to get up on towards the sl to Draycott Slights. I've actually got here, folks. Remember, the whole of last year I couldn't come over here. No bus. It could be nearly two years since I've done this walk. I'd have to look back in the video diary to know. So anyway, hello sheepies, so beautiful darling. Yeah. Right then, so I'm going to carry on walking up the big hill. I've just come up this bit here, well, I've come around the corner, very, very steep, coming up from way down there, the first part. It is steep still, if you look up, I've got to get up that bit, yeah. But for some reason, if I manage that bit, it seems to energise me, opens my lungs up. Anyway, I won't be videoing for long, this is Sheila. <coughs> I'm not sure of the date, tell the truth. Uh, it could be the 18th or 19th. Yeah, it's the 18th today because there's um, yeah, so I remember now, it's the 18th today of January 2024, a week before my 72nd birthday on the 27th. I'll be 72 and I'm still getting out here at the moment. I don't know if I will be but 82, I don't know. I don't know, nothing seems to be stopping me. I get aches and pains. But anyway, it's a lovely day. Apparently we've got another nice day like this tomorrow, on the 19th of January, and then for four days we've got wind and rain, but warmer temperatures, which comes with that. Look at this beautiful, beautiful Somerset levels, everyone which I've cycled all over. Nyland Mound, just there. It's got a trig point and I've been up that several times and cycled over that way. I've cycled it all over here. I'm hoping to get out on my bike again now that my wrist is repaired. Just about to see Axbridge Reservoir. I haven't walked around that for either for a couple of years. I think I did part of it. I did part of it, but not the whole lot last year when I was on re what I call restricted walking because no one to six. Hooray for the one two six. Over and out. I can see gliders. I can see a glider above Draycott sites there. He's just been released by a smaller plane which I go back to the airport. The <coughs> that looks new. There used to be a really old building there with a very old chimney on it. So that's all been done new since I was here last. So it's got to be a good. Well, it's last time I came here, I was doing a lot on um, the old hill forts. So it was a couple of years ago. There's another very fast looking plane. I think it's more like a rocket than a plane, that one. Going very fast and very small. Very small jet that is. That's if it is a jet. Anyway, there's um Draycott Sites. I can see another plane there. There's that like another glider going up. 
and going down. Don't look very safe. I wouldn't fancy doing that myself. I can see it with the naked eye. It's glistening above the trees. I'll just go and see if we can just get a quick glimpse of it. I don't want to use all my battery. Somewhere over there, there's a, there it is, a glider. Good day for it. Clear weather. There'll be some thermals up there. Yeah, I'll be up there soon. I'll be up there. Over and out for now. Well, what we'll do, we're just carrying on our walk. I've just come up a very steep hill. Just come up a very steep hill there. Which I've done loads of times, of course. And then, it's always a lovely little avenue of trees here, this. And in the spring, it's very pretty when you get the spring flowers coming out along here. But this is winter now. Right, folks, Over another for a video. I tend to do the moaning when I'm not online, actually. I do all my moaning in between videos. Anyway, it's a gorgeous day on the... 18th of January 2024. This is video two. I've climbed right up from deep down. Nice and steady, little Roman steps at times on the steeper bits. I'll be climbing over a stile up there. Where we are, of course, entering very ancient territory. We're further over our, on previous videos, previous years. I've explored the old hill forts and settlements. I'm not doing that today. Today is a basic walk where I'm not even going to climb up on the top. I'm going down the lower path because the, the ground should be quite frozen because there's a very muddy patch there. And if it's frozen, it won't be so bad for me to walk across. Now, a minute ago, we just made a bl brilliant shot. One of the gliders looked like it was going to crash into the hill and it went like that, but it wasn't. But from back there, it looked like it was going to hit the hill. That's probably one that's landing now. Um, and, but the, another one will take off. They take off very quickly. I have a small plane, drag them up. Then the hook is released. The little plane goes back to the land on the airport and the glider carries on up. I've been videoing for ages. I'm making the most of today and tomorrow. And I wanted to get this, why do you think I wanted to get this walk done? Frozen ground plus, no cows. But the thing is, I know they quite often do have a hardy cow out here. The farmers do seem to be investing in hardier cows that can stay out all year. I don't know if it's cheaper if they're eating the grass. I mean, they still go out and give them hay. Of course, in the past, I've climbed all up and down, all round over there. You can find some of my videos on YouTube. I do tend to share the good Sony ones. But I've got so many videos that haven't even been WMV yet. They haven't been placed on YouTube at all. Many, like many of my ch uh, Somerset Church projects. <clears throat> but many have been shared, but the quality won't always be very good. It ain't very good anyway. I'm not PBC, but um, when I was using very, very, very basic cameras like little vivitars. The pixels weren't very good. It was very, very blurry, but it was captured in time, you know? So we're carrying on the walk. We've got a little sign here. They do keep the signs fresh. There we go. Of course, this is also the West Mendip Way. Um, but they, they should really have put a plaque on there for the West Mendit Way for people who've never done this before. You can also climb, but I've never done it yet, but you can go across these fields here and down into the village. 
I've never done that. I'm just so glad the 126 is back. It's on trial for 18 months. So that'll take us into the summer, next winter, and then we'll see what happens. Personally, I think it's an essential service. It's a main route. They should, they've got to justify it when they have loads and loads of buses every 20 minutes going to Bristol. Even if we only had two buses a day, it would be better than nothing. And they did take up my recommendation of going to a single decker to start with. It was always a single decker in the past. The only reason it went double was because of COVID and need, the need for spacing. But a lot of people were affected when the 126 was withdrawn. I mean, look at me now. I'm out here. Because if I had to go from Winscombe, which is the other side of Crook's Peak, by the way, and then try and walk this as well and back, you'd have to leave like six in the morning. And it's a hell of a hike. Can be done, of course. But this way I can get the bus out, walk back to Cheddar, get the bus home. And uh, I am so blessed and so relieved to be able to be out on this beautiful winter's day. This is beautiful this day. Fresh, crisp, and if you walk you don't get cold, wrap up well. Over and out, everyone. Over and out with my beautiful Somerset. And I'll be 72 next week. My beautiful Quantock Hills will also get me walking them as well. But I can get out there. They have frequent buses over there as well. Much more frequent. The bus service to Minehead from Taunton is very good. Especially in the summer. And it goes on to late at night as well. Over and out. This is video three or four. Just behind that bush and over a bit, there is a big cow. It looks like a bull. And it looks like it must be on its own. It's really massive. Anyway, it's very frozen, the ground. And I'm having to be very careful going down. At my age, you risk breaking hips and things like that. So I don't want a raging bull suddenly deciding. And there is fresh cow pack, by the way. All over here, there's fresh cow pack. But there's one lone big creature up there. One lone big creature. I can't see any of the others. A bull sometimes does not always roam with the herd unless he's leading it. He will often just stay where he is. He's, they're quite lazy, actually. But they can run when they want to. Now I've just got to be careful. It's, it's good that it's... Um, and I think I've seen a black cow at the top there a minute ago. But it could be a bush. That big cow, I can see it quite clearly up there. It's a cream coloured. And it's got horns as well. I need to have come down this way, by the way. I could have gone down a much easier path. But I wanted to see Glastonbury Tor. So I'll just zoom in. It's just up there. Might come in. It's just there. Look. I don't think it's going to come out. It's either a, a cow or a very, very big sheep. 